Hello everyone. As you may have noticed if you've watched some of my other videos, uh, at some point in the last year I pledged for the Onion Omega and uh, I have received it and have been enjoyed playing around with it. And today I wondered whether there was anything exciting I could do with um, with the Onion basically. So, <laughs> because there, you know, other than just coding stuff that changes the LEDs on the device, it, nothing really interfaced with the outside world. So, my wife got this pretty good uh, LED Christmas tree, or well, not Christmas, Christmas tree, LED tree, um, which takes AA batteries, or, handily, also takes um, 4.5 volts input, or well, they claim 4.5 volts, but I'm slightly over volting it, I'm sure. Um, so, what I did, there we go, uh, so I wired it up to the onion. So we've got in the top the, oh actually no, I'll start with the bottom left connector, which is the USB connector going out, taking power into the relay. Uh, so I've got the, the minus is just crimped together with a little jelly crimp, and then the plus is going through relay zero on the relay board and then the white connector coming in is the power from my um, computer so um, let's see what we can do I have already tested this myself so it's not really going to be a mystery for me but um, let's go through what I did so the onions on the network let's log in log in which is just the default root and onion here at the moment no. So the easiest thing we can do is just turn it on using the Onions web interface. So it's in relay zero, or you know, the lowest relay one. And uh, let me see if I can put this side by side with the tree. Hooray! That works. So. Let's see what fun we can have. I'm going to put it in the slash root directory because I don't really care whether it gets lost. New file name uh, delayed loop dot sh for bash script hash exclamation mark slash bin slash sh. I want to turn on the OLED which I have. OLED expansion minus I for initialize. Do while oops while true do sleep one. The current date equals backtick date backtick, which will load the variable the current date with today's date. Let's turn on the tree, uh, relay expansion, zero on. I'm going to, because this is going to loop, I need to set the position on the OLED display. So OLED uh, expansion cursor, oops, C U R S O R, zero comma zero, to start at the top and the top left. OLED EXP write the current date, which is the variable I set above, tree on, and then I want uh, several blank lines, so backslash n, backslash n, backslash n, backslash n, so that should do, I think, four blank lines. Sleep for one second, relay x zero off to turn the tree off. I want the date again, so let's just copy that line. And let's do that again. I don't need the blank lines because it's the last one before I um, overwrite what's on the screen. Uh, tree off. Done. Save that file. Let's see whether it's. Uh, appearing there, there's root, yep, delayed loop.sh, now I need to go to terminal, root 
onion ear. Uh, I guess if I go mm, uh, delayed loop.sh it won't work. Yeah, permission denied, so chmod755 to make it writable and ex executable by me and uh, executable by anyone else. So let's try a delayed loop. Go. No, I've made a mistake somewhere. Let's make sure that it actually has the correct contents. Ah, okay, it's blank, so that explains what's going on there. So I guess this online web interface isn't saving, so I'll copy, paste, save. That looks more promising. Let's go back to terminal. There we go. Delayed loop. And there we go. That is a simple way to interface your onion with the outside world. And in this, it's a quite exciting self-contained example because it takes the power from the onion itself with the USB uh, connector here, which I've then, as I said, wired through the relay, which then goes off into this uh, rather pretty tree and um, then I'm using the screen which basically sets on the screen saying the, the time and date that the tree was turned on and turned off. Now what you can do is um, go rather crazy with this, this is quite fun. So I want to create a file loop.sh yeah, okay I see what's going on, when you create a file it doesn't open it for, for editing immediately. So root loop.sh Now I think their editor does need some work, it doesn't seem particularly stable, so let's reload that page. Editor root loop.sh. No, okay, so I don't remember pasting it into there, but it has the content. So the entertaining things take out the sleep. So it just runs immediately. Switch back to terminal. set the permissions again. <laughs> so you can go mad by uh, taking out the delays. So it just turns on and off as quick as it can whilst also updating the screen. You can make that even more entertaining by taking out all the, uh, the screen stuff which delays everything a little bit. So all we're doing is turning the LEDs on and off in a massive loop. And it probably won't be quite so obvious on the camera, but it's uh, pretty entertaining in real life. Yeah, on the camera it's just coming through slightly dimmer, but uh, as you may hear, the LED is, uh, oh sorry, the, the relay is going absolutely crazy. Anyway, good fun. And maybe if you've got an onion and you didn't really know what to do with it or how to script Hope that helps. Certainly entertained me.